Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new planet. Today with a game made by a studio called Silo Sibes Games, which you just saw the name on the screen. This is Balthazar's Dream, and I'm starting it right now at the beginning because it's uh, it's a nice intro. Also because I literally have not played this game before. It's it's the first time I'm going into the game, first time I'm playing it. Um, it's sort of a holiday today. It's Romania's National Day, so uh, I'm pretending not not to actually work. I am working. I like was at my job earlier, and I'm doing this. But uh, I'm taking things a bit slower, and you know, goofing off in a way, or at least um, n not putting much effort. So I thought, hey, this uh, this looks like a nice game to try at first glance. It's about about a guy and his dog who got run over by a car. The guy, which is better than the dog. Oh. They let the dog in a hospital. Okay, um, that's not something hospitals allow. They generally do not allow you to have a mobile phone with you. They don't allow a lot of things, especially when someone's in this kind of uh, situation, when they're in this kind of... Maybe he's at home. There's a locker room there, so... This is kind of weird. The game is made on Unity, by the way, if you're wondering, but it's got this uh, nifty pixelated art style that looks like it came out of a uh, Atari 2600 game. Or a bit more than that. It's it's still kind of primitive. But yeah, it's stylish in its own. Oh, I can pick my breed of dog. I can be a border collie. Rocket scientist among dogs, known for their sheep petrifying gaze, ability to learn at over a thousand words, and over the top enthusiasm. And uh, do I get to unlock the other? Pugs! The breed is often described by the Latin phrase multum in po parvo or a lot of dog in a small space. Adorable little and deadly cute. Uh, the game might be slightly difficult with a pug due to its, due to its size. Pugs are a, an abomination onto the uh, laws of nature. I mean, bug, pugs, they, they're borderline non-functional biologically. They are... If you support the breeding of pugs, you are a horrible person. You are actively trying to mutilate a dog. That being said... A swirling shepherd, athletic and intelligent to working breed, known for its distinctive ghost eyes. Yeah, the one with the uh, the blue eyes, sort of like uh, no, the gray eyes. Gray eyes, yeah, the blue eyes, one of the huskies. This is the, the, the doge, I believe. M much muscular, such a little Japanese breed with an independent nature. Wow, ready for adventure, that's actually funny. German shepherd, with a bite force of 1060 newtons, high intelligence and a deep bork German shepherds. Our excellent police dogs. Yes, they are. Well, what should we choose? I mean, we're not going to choose the border collie, the the, uh, the pug. That's that's going to be insane. Yeah, let, let's go with the border collie. Let's start with the border collie. Chapter one. How? <laughs> Snap. <laughs> this is a meme game. This is absolutely a meme game. I. I'm getting achievements for jumping. Old jump to skip kind. Baltazar is good boy. Yes, look at me, I'm jumping all around. It's it's a funny doggy. I'm so happy. I thought I was stuck here. Oh, oh so I'm in his dream, so I thought the So the dog isn't okay, yeah, yeah. I think. Let's let's find the fridge. Okay, let's find the fridge. It, it it's a ghost boy and his dog. There's a giant spider. The the spider is in the background, so it's okay, it's actually quite small. Like I like the, I like the parallaxing, also the fact that there is there's things in the foreground. So that that actually gives the game a bit of depth. Jump over a hydrant to save. Cool. Okay, that, that actually makes sense. I mean, it's a dog. In in, in America, dogs have uh, fire, have fire hydrants here. They don't have. The floor is ah, oh, I didn't read up the thing. Something about the floor. Oh, it's it's slippery. The floor is slippery. Oh, it's a dog's worst enemy. A slippery floor. Can flow, but I can't touch anything. Okay. I feel like a ghost. You are a ghost. Yeah, you are. Woof, 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 woof. Let's just keep moving. So far, this game seems to really understand dogs. Okay, save there. Excellent. <laughs> okay. Am I a good boy? <laughs> Look, I'm jumping on a couch. Woof, woof. Ah. I, I should we should have narcotic play this game. He does his dog imitation better than all of us. He used to be a dog. Pretend to be one at least. Oh I oh I have okay now again I don't have to jump over it. I have to stand near it and then press space to urinate on it. 
Yeah, that, that makes even more sense now that I think of it. Ah, the dreaded wait for the platforms to synchronize puzzle. Of jumping puzzles. Aha. Uh -huh. I could have probably jumped with the other one too. Good job. This is kind of patronizing, but I'm a dog, so I don't care. This place is so strange, no matter something always end up where I started. That, that's kind of sad. Glad you were uh, okay. Anyway, be careful with those tables ahead. They don't seem very stable. The tables don't seem stable, you say. Table, stable. Stable, table, table, stable. Wonder why the tables aren't stable. Well, that rope is the only way up. My memory is all fuzzy, but I think you hanged yourself for it now. Remember you loving playing around with the ropes. Yeah, am I right? Yeah, sure. Let's. A roof, a roof, a roof. Then it shouldn't be your problem. Go get it, boy. And I'm glad to get. Okay, that didn't actually need to be a thing. I didn't do anything. Well, I can climb on the rope. Okay. That. Okay. Oh, so the dog has a limited stamina, actually. I can even jump back on the rope. Okay. The dog has really good climbing skills on ropes, honestly. And yeah, you can totally recover your stamina by just jumping back. Woof, yarp, yarp. Agreed. Best dog climber ever. Balthazar. Yerf. I feel sick. My head. You're dead, man. You're dead. Ruff, ruff. See, why can't you under? I mean, it's a dream. Can you just pretend you understand the dog? Or maybe the dog can pretend to understand you. I mean, it's, it's a cumulative. Uh, it's it's a combined dream. Oh God damn it! I almost. Th I thought I died there. I know. I'm. I'm still alive. I'm still barking. Oh, that's gonna. Okay. For a second, I thought that was gonna take me to dog hell, but it didn't. It didn't. I'm safe. I'm safe. Uh no. Come back. Come back. Come <gasps> no. Come back. I, I, I took it by mistake. Take it back. I'm stuck. Okay, so that's... Uh, I just need to touch them a tiny bit and they, they float away. Yeah, this dog has a history of knocking down things that shouldn't be knocked down, I'm guessing. So I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to jump back onto the couch. And then from... Ah, oh, damn it, I hit the ghost. I actually think I hit the, uh, the edge of the table. That's why I couldn't jump. It's just too close to the edge. Aha! Uh -huh. Come on, jump up, boy! Good boy, good doggy. Oh, it's a cactus. Okay, let's save down there. Don't mean to scare you, but there is a vacuum cleaner below. Oh, no. You can do it, boy, go. Fighting the vacuum cleaner. If it's not a vacuum cleaner, then it's fireworks. When the smart bar is depleted, the dog the dog repels from. Okay, so yeah, that's that the thing on top. That's the smart bar. So once it goes away, the dog will just try to run and run and run and run and run. Oh damn it! Okay, let's face again. You gotta need let's find some way of jumping. Yes, I did it. I succeeded. Marvelous. Yes. You ate a whole cheesecake last Christmas? Oh, that dog must be so happy. I know, you're uh, here to help. Remember, it was hilarious, by the way. I remember. And he's gonna punish me for it, right? Because I ate the whole cheesecake and don't let him eat any of it. Okay, the thing with excellent starting to get a bit annoying. Come on, and jump, and jump, and jump, and this will not end well. It did not end well. Let's race again, and jump, and jump, and jump, and jump, and jump. Okay, so I can pretty much just jump on that thing, and voila. I did it. Yeah, I get it. Well done. Good job. Okay, so far it's not a terrible game. It's just it has some of it has some features in it that make it positively unique. I mean, it's a game where you play as a dog, barking around, going wolf at things, jump on the bed without guilt. <laughs> what? Uh, we should hurry. Remember <laughs> how? So the dog, the dog is imagining that his master is dead, and now he can pretty much just do anything he wants, like jumping out of bed. Look. 
turns to a ball. Okay, this game is precious. This game is just absolutely precious. Look at it. It's, it's a dog ball. Look at it. Look at the way it's spinning in midair. It's, it's, it's a wonderful game. I should probably save though, in case I jump and fall there. Canine territory. Got an achievement for that too. we we'll almost got a full one. Yes, saved. What's down here? More of this. Oh, there's another bed down there. Woof. Woof. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Our dog never used to jump on the bed. Though um, she would frequently kick us out of bed. Like, she would just get in bed behind us and push us off the bed. I, I think she didn't like people sleeping in the bed when she did. She was also very, very picky with chairs. She would actively kick you out of a chair if she wanted to stay there. Ah, damn it. Also had very, very um, vindictive personality. If you upset her somehow, and then she saw you lying on the bed, she'd go up to you and sneeze in your face. No remorse. Just evil. <laughs> I miss my dog. I haven't seen her in about 10 years. Oh, she's up in that magic kennel in the sky where, I don't know, dogs go, I guess. I mean, if there's an afterlife and there's no dogs in it, that's not an afterlife. Like, I mean, that's... Whatever religion has dogs factored in, that, that's probably at least not a viciously, violently evil one. One that does not, damn it, is absolutely evil. Maybe I have to jump from up from up there somehow. Okay, I need to get oh damn it. I think I'm maybe missing something. I don't think I can actually make that jump normally. Come on, jump like this. And no. I need to get even closer to the edge. And that's actually too close to the edge. Oh, so close. Okay, let's try this again. This probably won't be a long show. Don't have a lot of dog stories. I mean, the dog once tried to steal a hat from me. We fought over a hat for a day, for an entire day. I think I lost. I don't have the hat anymore. Never. Ah, damn it! Come on, doggy, you can do it. Oh, damn it, damn it. Okay. Just a little bit closer. A little bit closer. Yes! No! I got stuck and... Uh, the tables have collisions around them and that's very, very annoying. Okay, did it again. Did it again. Again. Like, it's just... I have to do it right at the edge, but I'm not sure if I can actually make it to the edge on account of the 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 smart bar is is getting lower. And <laughs> I fell down again. Come on. And uh now nah, I'm just I'm just bad at jumping today. Ah <sighs> okay, one more, one more try. One more try. In the name of dogs everywhere, I have to do this. I have to try. Uh, one more try. Just one more try. No, really. How is it so hard? Like, I think I'm pressing right, right at the final possible moment, but I'm not. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna try it. <laughs> that's actually that's actually bad. Like, feel so far the game is not. Not bad. I'm just really crappy at this particular jump. Why do I keep doing that? I mean, I made it once. Maybe I have to have both my legs on the platform to jump at the... to get more... Uh, more heft in my jumping keep up. No, that wouldn't work either. Only that table was a tiny bit lower. Can I double jump in this game? No, I can't. I can double bork. Can I press control to do something? Can I do what's spinning me there? Okay, see there there I did jump right at the edge and didn't actually jump. 
Yeah, damn it. I think this is curtains for me. Curtains, I say. Curtains. It was so close. No, th there's something funky with that that table. It's just I got to the, I got to it once, but I can't seem to do it again. And now I just overreached. So this is gonna be the next five minutes of the show, people. Just me bumping into that table. What, can I can I bounce off it and jump in a different direction? Maybe. Nope, I cannot. Maybe I can... Can I bounce on the, the vacuum cleaner itself? No, I cannot. Okay, this is going to be the last track. It's going to be a short show, people. Just 15 minutes, but I cannot just not make that table. Like, I made it once, but I clocked my head on, my head on the other one. How am I not doing this? What am I doing wrong? It feels like it's not jumping right. Like, here it is. 200 jumps already, okay. No, now, so I can't, I can't jump when I'm all the way near the edge, I have to... Nope. No, no, I'm guessing this is gonna be it for me, like this. This is my doggy limit. I cannot overcome this jump. No, that was right at the edge. Nope, that's it. So, uh... This was for Balazar's Dream. It's a nice game. Uh, have no clue how to make that jump, actually. Okay, did it one. Oh, it crashed. So pressing escape just uh, exits the game. It doesn't go into main menu because it doesn't have one. Okay, so uh, goodbye. I'm going to see you again soon with more shows. Take care.